Hello, my name is Timothy Gabro, and I am a member of CPUSA Queens. I'm also a student here at CCNY, and we're here to interview students about how they feel about the new status of campus. Well, first I'd like to ask, how do you feel about the encampments initially? The encampments, I feel, were students exercising their right to protest. I agreed with the cause, and... Um... Yeah, I just thought it was a little bit like dangerous for me. I was just like, oh my gosh, what if I show up and they like tackle me down or something? Because I saw like even in Colombia that they were like spraying them. And I was like, I feel so scared to come to school. Right. But yeah, I was scared. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, these poor kids, they're getting like tackled down and sprayed and stuff. I think the protests are empowering the students to talk about something they believe in, talk about something that is worth talking about. And it gives them the opportunity to voice their beliefs. Right. And so how do you feel about the the response that was met by the administration and the cops? I think the response was an overreaction entirely. I feel like the environment that was here, as far as I'm concerned through social media, wasn't anything negative and it was only Brought, it was only brought to the forefront to spread awareness about the situation and that getting the police involved to beat on your own students and a demographic that is like largely a part of your campus was wrong entirely. How do you feel about the current status of campus with all the extra police and I security? It's so weird, honestly, because I'm like, am I doing something? Honestly, I'm not doing anything illegal, but then I'm just like, I have to like, do they have to see my bag? Like, I'm kind of nervous and anxious and I'm just trying to like finish off the summer I'm already anxious with my like have a bunch of anxiety because of my classes I'm trying to finish it off and then all of this going on and like the police officers just like wandering around everywhere I was just like I really feel watched and like right like I don't know how to explain it like you see like a mouse and an experience it's like just trapped in a box like that if I can explain it better. <laughs> so, yeah. I understand that emotion and they went very much overboard with it and also the sh complete shutdown of the campus how it's literally under martial law uh people getting taken out of classes having already paid for school not being forced to do it online all because of the campus's mistakes which isn't even like due to covid at least it was out of their control this was completely within their control and now we're being punished for it not to mention all the people who didn't even participate in the camp in the encampments who are also being punished which is completely unfair uh, i feel like it hasn't i have a lot of stuff i need to talk with like with professors and teachers and it's honestly just making it harder for me to reach out to my my professors and my teachers it's not allowing me to connect with them talk about my classwork my if you like my future career goals, stuff like that. Like there's important conversations I need to have. And shutting down the campus has just not allowed me to, like people aren't here. I was gonna go talk to a professor today. He's not here today. I can't, I can't contact him. I'm emailing these professors, nobody's responding. Certain services that I would previously go to have been completely shut down. Benny's Food Pantry has recently reopened up, which I'm very thankful for, which still got shut down in the first place. I and my family, we were not able to eat for some days luckily we had water but i'm just saying so many people rely on things at the campus and this complete shutdown i feel is unwarranted and just meant to try and make people forget about everything rather than actually face the problem you should allow you should be able to allow students to voice their opinions and still have students come to class and be aware of what's happening in the world i feel like it's a sort of separate censorship in a sense that you can't have people going to class come to come to class because these are real world real world event real real world events that are happening. It's not like you can just shield people from not learning about the truth. I thought it was like this country is all about like freedom of speech and freedom like to like say your voice, but obviously they were doing it peacefully. So I'm wondering if like any protests would be happening and then the police officers, I feel like I wonder are they going to be coming when like the full uh like body group of students come would they be more police officers and would it be like more strictly like everywhere I don't I, that's what I was thinking about too so the, yeah I was just like thinking about 
more students coming or there gonna be more police officers or yeah I, I wouldn't prefer more police officers honestly <laughs> because that would just make me really anxious and I don't want like to be attacked even though we're I'm just coming to school I'm just right. trying to I'm just coming to learn I don't want to feel like anxious to come to school don't don't forget don't don't let them win because like, even we saw it with Ukraine have, have you when's the last time you heard someone talk about that war people forget things people move on don't move on keep fighting for what you believe in I think it's a real injustice that's happening over there and hopefully that is resolved soon because it's so sad I really I just thinking about it it makes me cry because I can't imagine my family going through something like that or yeah I think um, obviously from the working class angle that a lot of these students and a lot of these faculty understand that um, the police aren't there for our security and that we need to unify ourselves and organize around getting um, these police off our campus and also getting the demands that we asked for initially as a CCNY community against Palestine or well against uh, the Israeli state for Palestine. So I think to bring the communist plus, we should help organize our students and we should help organize our faculty in bringing education first and uh, and not have these, uh, not let the administration push us around and bring cops onto our campus for us to feel uh, unsafe and unsure about a place where we should be able to go and express ourselves freely and experience a great education.